been interested in, in animal rights for a long time and when I learned about the Pediatric Advanced Life Support course that is um, part of WashU's curriculum for, uh, for doctors and respiratory therapists and stuff, when I found out that they were using live cats in the laboratories instead of a simulation model, which is the standard now in most of the country and which is what the American Heart Association calls for, when I found out that they were using live cats to forcibly insert tubes down their windpipes in order to train for intubating infants, uh, I, thought, I thought, you know, we have to put a stop to this. There are better models out there. There's no reason to be using cats for this. We actually just started this campaign specifically uh, about a month and a half ago, but St. Louis Animal Rights Team has, has done demonstrations against these cat labs. Um, PETA has even come in and done a demonstration against the cat lab. Washington University is one of the last holdouts in this country still using live animals for the PALS course. Why they're doing that we're not sure because they have access to a state-of-the-art um, simulation lab. This is the final day of a conference that we had this weekend called Free the Animals Anti-Vivisection Conference which is animal testing and so we're here just to bring public awareness to the fact that we don't need to test on animals. It's cruel, it's torture, it's not necessary. Cats, animal cruelty, you do the same thing in a lab, it's called research.